I started Stencil Ocean Alliance in 2019. There was absolutely nothing here. It was just an empty piece of dirt. And um, I wanted kids from Imizami here to Hangburg, like in front of the Sentinel where Dungeons is, to have the same opportunities I did growing up. I was able to surf, like earn a living from surfing and have all these opportunities because I had access to the ocean. You know, my dad brought me down, gave me a board, and uh, I want these kids to have the same thing. So we run two programs. We run the Ocean School, which is upstairs there, where we educate kids about the ocean, about the environment, why we need to protect it. And we also run our Turn the Tide, Learn to Swim program, where we teach kids um, how to swim and uh, how to be safe in the ocean. So today we're getting them used to the water. So we're trying to check how comfortable they are. And then we walk together in a line to see if we're comfortable. If we're comfortable, then we put our faces and then we come back to just ask how we're feeling. Everybody, we need to know how, how everybody's feeling. So now we're going to ask them how they're feeling. If they're good to go, then we go again. Today's just about going in and coming out. Are you still okay? Yes. Go in and out. Are you okay? Yes. It's crazy, we were just surfing these waves out of dungeons and uh, now same, same, maybe some of the same waves that came through here that we yeah. surf and uh, now kids are getting into the water and yeah, that's pretty epic. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> cool, yeah. Um, yeah, I woke up uh, early this morning and actually when I looked at my house, it looked pretty windy. So I was worried about the wind, went up to the top of the Chapman's Peak, checked it out and I was kind of umming and ahhing where we should go. Uh, I called Grant Skoltz, he's like, no, there's waves, get out here. So I got the ski and we were out, headed out there. Um, took me a while to get a wave. Uh, it was really windy, it was shifty. There's a lot of water moving around. It was a, quite a strong current going into the corner. And, um, but I managed to line up a pretty nice one. Uh, kind of went straight and then the 2.5 closed out on me and actually got pretty smoked on that wave. <laughs> um, I then got another wave, which was pretty fun. Got back on the ski, had some food, like, because the water was actually surprisingly cold. Kind of powered up, and then I was telling Fox, okay, one more wave, let me just get one more. And almost as soon as I got out there, this perfect one, I thought, just came straight to me. And uh, I just heard Twig and Bromley just go, and they were just screaming, go, go, go. And I mean, I thought I had it. I was, I was paddling down, thought I had it. And a big gust of wind came and kind of lifted me up and my board. And I felt like I was sitting next to my board almost. I, like, I remember looking next to me, my board was there and I was like, that's not good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just got absolutely annihilated. Like one of the worst wipeouts I've had there in a long time. Landed on my back, my wave going over me and then like tumbled down. And uh, yeah, I ended up having a two-wave hold down. So luckily we had skis and stuff, but yeah, yeah. fun day at Dungeons. <laughs>